This is an instructional video detailing the applications and functions of the Phase 2 PH1900 portable hardness tester. The PHT1900 is designed to test metals, primarily large parts of steel, cast iron, aluminum alloys, and copper alloys. The technology incorporated is based on the Lieb system of hardness. A carbide ball is spring-loaded and impacts the workpiece with a given force. The rebound velocity is then measured and converted to a hardness value in Lieb, which can then be converted automatically and be read in any number of scales, which is selectable prior to testing. Certain workpiece parameters must be met for the Lieb system to work properly. Mass of the work part is critical. A good rule of thumb is the workpiece needs to have mass equal to a minimum of a half inch thick of solid steel, where the test will be applied. Parts with mass a little less can be affixed, if possible, to something of larger mass to obtain performance. Should you have workpieces that are not close to such mass, contact Phase 2 and inquire about our ultrasonic portable hardness testers. The next parameter is surface roughness. Surface roughness should average a 2 micron or 80 micro inch finish or better using the standard impact probe. Optional probes, such as the G-Probe, can handle rougher surfaces, such as on rough casting. Each kit comes with the tester module, a calibrated test block, note that NIST certified test blocks are available as an option, a USB cable, the impact device, a cleaning brush, and a USB stick containing software and product operation manual. Now let's move over to the operation of the hardness tester and see how easy it is to utilize the different functions, taking tests, and obtaining results. Taking a test or series of tests is quite simple once your parameters are all set. Load the impact device. Place the end of the impact device flat on your workpiece and release the load by depressing the top button. You'll see the results on the screen. You will also notice that the screen is showing you battery life, direction of probe during the test, the type of impact device being used, the scale you are reading in, the material chosen, the number of tests you have taken, the minimum, the maximum, and the average. The count number will revert back to zero once you have reached the number of tests to take an average. At that time, the average will be shown on screen. Taking a series of quick burst tests are rather simple and easy. The setup key allows you to enter test settings, tolerance limits, memory manager, base and multi-point calibration, system configuration, and conversions. This concludes our application and function guide for the Phase 2 PHT1900 Portable Hardness Tester. Should you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact us.